Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all our game plan to become debt free by August of this year. So if you've seen my previous videos, you know that we are getting a little bit more aggressive. Um, we've had some life changes occur um, that is kind of just lighting a fire under our tush, <laughs> if you will, and we want to become debt free as quickly as possible. Um, so our goal is to become debt free by August of 2019. In previous videos, I have said July, but that was kind of factoring in a bonus from my full-time position, my full-time job. And bonuses are never guaranteed. So I'm kind of just taking the safe route and saying that August is gonna be our debt-free month. Plus, there are certain things that might come up that I haven't budgeted for, like car maintenance and stuff like that. You just never know. Um, so saying August is pretty safe. Honestly, it should not be any later than August. If anything, it should be sooner. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna write at the top here, um, debt free, nothing fancy for this video, by August 2019. Now, I personally use every dollar to kind of do like our pre-budgeting, I guess you could say. So just kind of forecasting, like I have our weekly budgets done, I kid you not, through the end of this year. Like they are all done. I have every single week kind of planned out. Obviously those plans change because things change. That's just life. You just never, there's no way to look in a crystal ball and <laughs> know exactly what's going to be happening um, even like a day from now, really. But I have it forecasted to the best of my knowledge um, through the end of the year. So that's kind of what we are, how we use every dollar. We do a lot of our budgeting on pen and paper, but we also use every dollar. My husband has the app like on his phone so he can go in there and check the budget when he wants and stuff like that too. Um, we also track our transactions in every dollar still just to double check our math and make sure that that's all accurate. So there you go. Um, let's go ahead and figure out our current debt balances. So I'm using a sticker sheet. This is from the teacher sticker pad by Erin Condren and I absolutely I mean I've raved about this sticker pad before you guys know I love the sticker pad even if you're not a teacher you can use pretty much every single sticker in here and then obviously if you have kids in school that works great too but I'm gonna keep it simple today and I think I'm just gonna use one of these little asterisks and we'll write our total debt balances at the top so our total current debt, and this is as of this morning, which I'm filming this on Wednesday, February 20th. And we have two outstanding debts. We have Great Lakes, which I just kind of combined the sub loans together for this one. So Great Lakes is actually a couple it's like three separate like mini loans. So this is all just lumped together. And then we have Wells Fargo student loans. And our total balance with Great Lakes as of this morning is $5,848.61. And our current balance with Wells Fargo is $9,316.08. So our total debt is $15,118.60. We are planning on having this total amount of debt paid off by August 2019, which is six months from now. It's a pretty ambitious goal, but like I said, I've planned it all in every dollar. It is realistic. 
Um, August is a safe safe month to say we'll be debt free even if like little things pop up here and there. But we definitely need to reel in a lot of our spending, be better about our grocery budget. We're both feeling very, very motivated to get this done. Um, and you know, yeah, so we will we will get it done. Okay, so I'm just gonna use these little check marks for the months. So in February, we've already put a lot of debt snowball payments um, to our debt, which is why that total balance is much less than what you guys probably saw at the end of January, beginning of February. But we do still have a minimum payment that needs to post for February for Great Lakes. So once that minimum payment posts, that balance will go down a little bit more. It came out of my account already, it just hasn't quite posted. So it's 257.24. So that's what's gonna happen in February. Not very exciting. Well, earlier this month it was very exciting. You guys will see in next week's video, I'll be doing like a total, the total debt paid off in February in the beginning March debt balances, you guys will see that video next week. So, and then we've got March. And March is definitely gonna be a very exciting month because it's a three paycheck month for me, which means extra money to debt. So in March for Great Lakes, we will have, of course, our minimum payment of 257.24 plus a snowball payment da, 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 of $3,056.27. For Wells Fargo, we will have the minimum payment, which is 136.78. So that's what will be taking place in March. That will be a big month <laughs> for us for sure. And then we've got April. April. And for Great Lakes in April, We will have our minimum payment of 257.24 plus a snowball payment of $1,648.74, which is pretty awesome. And then for Wells Fargo, we will have our minimum payment of 136.78. So that is what is gonna happen in April. And then we've got May. And May will be a very exciting month as well. I think I'll use this orange check mark for May. So for May, for Great Lakes, we will have no minimum payment because it should be paid off. <laughs> so we should be putting 371.88 to Great Lakes in May. And then, all right, paid off. And then for Wells Fargo, for May, we will have our minimum payment of 136.78 plus a debt snowball payment of $2,348.27. That is another three paycheck month for my husband. So those three paycheck months are nice. <laughs> really, really nice. And then we get into June. So 
So for June, obviously Great Lakes is paid off, which is so exciting. Seriously cannot wait. And Wells Fargo, we will have our minimum payment of 136.78 plus a debt snowball payment of $2,009.23. And for July, July for Wells Fargo, we will have our minimum payment of $136.78 plus a debt snowball payment of $3,005.98. And then lastly, of course, we have August. So for August, Wells Fargo, we will have no minimum payment <laughs> and we should be putting a total of $1,236.12 and that will pay off Wells Fargo. So that is what the next six months should be looking like. And again, I factored in our estimated income for each month, taking into account extra paychecks. Um, also like Easter is already budgeted in this. Um, we've got landscaping and our air conditioner needs some work um, in March. So that's budgeted in. We have car registration due in May. So to the best of my ability, I already added in like those extra expenses. But like I said, things come up that are unexpected. Um, so with August, we, so we're gonna be starting our savings and I'll, I'll probably just share this with you guys too while I'm at it because why not? So I just use this little asterisk down here. So for our savings, For the rest of the year because of course i figured this out as well we've got um august september october and then i'll just put over here december or whoops that was supposed to be november white out <laughs> I swear my handwriting gets so bad when I'm like nearing the end of the page I don't know why is that just me that that happens to um, and then we've got November and December and we have our total I feel like my handwriting's awful down here that's okay so for August, we should be able to also save $2,413.98. That is another three paycheck month for me. September, we should be able to save $2,141.58. In October, we'll be saving $2,376.00. Fifty-eight cents. November will be one thousand four hundred fourteen dollars and fourteen cents. I'm putting zero for December because that's usually what <laughs> ends up happening. And um, I want to start our sinking funds and like a bunch of other stuff in December. And then our total savings before the end of the year should be around eight thousand three hundred. $46.28. And that's why I say that August should be a safe bet for us because we have quite a bit of a buffer going on there. Plus, if I end up getting my bonus in July and it's more than what I expect or something like that, obviously this is going to get bumped up 
um, and we might be debt free even sooner. So I hope that this was helpful to you guys. Um, I definitely want to show you guys every dollar and like how we use it and how I've got it set up and stuff because it's a little bit different from like what people probably do with it and what I used to do with it. It's definitely very different. But that's where I got these numbers from. Estimating our total income, our total expenses, um, the way that bills fall makes a huge difference too. How many weeks there are in the month. For a lot of five week months, we roll over like our fifth paycheck into the next month to pay some of the bills for the first week of the next month, just all that kind of stuff. So there's a whole lot of different things that come into play, but this is our game plan, you guys. This is how we are going to get debt free by August 2019 and then also be able to save $8,346.28 by the end of the year. Of course, these numbers are going to be slightly affected because of interest and things like that, um, but it shouldn't be like so much of a difference that it completely derails us or something. But that is um, pretty much how I figured out that we're going to be debt free by August 2019. My husband's on board for this. We've gone through it together multiple times <laughs> at this point. Um, so I'm really, really excited and I wanted to be sure to share this with you guys. Um, so if you have any questions, comments at all, leave those for me down below. And um, if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, definitely do that as well so that you can catch all of my future videos. I do post Monday through Saturday at noon Arizona time. And of course, everything you see here today is linked in the description box down below along with a $10 off coupon code that you can use for Erin Condren uh, products. So definitely check that out if you're interested in picking anything up and I will chat with you all later. Bye guys.